Hello friends, in this video we will see a variable types or variable scope. We will see what exactly, uh, we have some scope and table uh, ty types of variables. So we will see first one would be the global variable. So what is global variable? So when we declare a variable outside all the functions, so that is called global variable. So how it is used, you can see here. We have declared a variable x. So declared a variable of int x. So this variable is accessible by, accessible by all the functions. You can see here, we are using the same x variable in main function. So we are not declaring the uh, x inside main. We are not declared it. So we can use x in any function. Again, we are using the same x here in the sqr function. So this way, we can use uh, global variables and that can be accessed anywhere. You can access x from main function. You can access x from sqr function. So this way we can use uh, access a global variable from any function in the program. But if you try to access, uh, for example, this a, you cannot access a from this function. If you access a variable, that would be the a which belongs to this. We will see that later. That would be the local variable. So next would be the local variable. So here we have declared variable int a and b in the main function. So a and b are two variables in main function. And we have declared yes in the sum function. You can see this variable belongs to sum function and you cannot access sum here. So x, y, uh, x, y, x, y and x, sorry, yes, yes, x and y, all three belong to some functions. So you cannot access these three variables in the main function. You can see main function a and b are local to the main function. So in yes, some function x, yes and y are local to the some function. So if you try to access yes from the main function. You can see if you try to access the yes from the main function, you cannot access this variable. You will get an error. That would be incorrect. Again, if you try to access a and b from the sum function, you can see here in the sum function, if you try to access a and b, so this would be incorrect. You cannot access a and b uh, of main function from the sum function. So these would be local variables. Here, Yes, x and y are local to the sum function. A and b are local to the main function. So you should be careful. Even if you write an a and b variable inside the sum function, that a and b would be different and this a and b would be different. So if you, you cannot use a and b from sum function. So we will see a third type of a variable which is called static variable. So when we declare any variable as static, here you can see we have declared a variable var of type int and of type static. So we have a static variable in, uh, of a type int called var. So we can print this value. But we can initialize only once. Once we can initialize a static variable. So if I call the function three times, you can see this is a void function, so it will not return any value. So when once this function one is called, once this function one is called, this values inside should be usually it should disappear. But what happens in the Static, if, the stat if there is a static variable in a function, when you call function three times, we are calling function for three times. So, for every call, so VAR is not assigned the 10 value. You see, when we call, it increments on each call, and the value of where is not last after the function call. Even after, once the function is completed, this function, one call is completed, so whatever the value in VAR is not lost and when you call the function one again, 
so v a r will not be assigned to value 10 so it will initialize only once so you call again so the va value of v a r will be uh, available to you and it will again be incremented so we will see this outputs later in the program so we will see one more type of uh, variable which is called const so we have a main function if I declare any variable as const, so this is a keyword. So when you declare it as a const, any int, uh, float, or any type of variable, you can assign it only once. Then if you try to increment here, so if you try to increment the value, it will, it will give you an error. So you cannot change the value of var. It will give you an error. So constants are used whenever you want to use some constant and nobody want, uh, should be nobody should be able to change that const, uh, constant value so you can use const keyword friends we will see some programs So we have a simple uh, program in which we have declared a global variable var, var, var of value 34 is inside var. So we can print this value from this function, void fun uh, function 1, you see this is the function 1 and we can also print it in main function, we can directly access that variable from the main function. So I'll compile this program, I'll do alt f9 to compile the program, don't worry about the uh, error is a warning we will compile control f9 so you can see it's printing 34 34 34 from the main function and 34 from the function 1 we will just give a space so that it looks pretty well we'll compile and when you can see it shows 34, 34, you can access the same value. Even if you try to assign a value here, var is equal to 77. You can see the value changes here. So anyone can change the value, global value. So you don't have to pass this value through all the functions. See, if you are calling the function 1, you don't have to pass the value. So every function will be able to access that value. So, But still, we don't uh, prefer to use global variables if we are using, uh, if you want to send a large amount of value. Uh, if, oh, for example, an array of 20 values to a function, we definitely use pointers. So we will not use them as a global variable and access it from all the functions. So best way would be using pointers, but if you are, if you want to use some variables globally throughout your program or throughout your software, uh, you can use some global variables like this and access it from all the function. You can change the value from any function. So we'll try to change the value here. I'll copy paste the same value. Compile, run the program. You can see it's, it changed to 88 in the function once it's printed from here. So the 34 is not visible because the main function is changing it to 77 and then the function 1 is changing it to 88. So this way we can change the global variable from any function. We'll see one more example. So in this example, we have a x variable of type int. So we don't have to put global keyword. So global key keyword is not available. The meaning is if you declare any variable outside all the functions, it will be global. So x is equal to 28. We just initialized it. So in the square function, we are trying to multiply whatever the arguments we sent to this function. We sent two arguments to this function for a and b and that will be multiplied and be given to x 
So in a uh, in main function we have a and b two variables. So this a and b we have values four and five. We in the, in the main function we are adding. Okay, uh, we'll just add one more statement here. Before call. Actually, it's function call. I'll just write it call. Uh, if you get confused, okay, we will write it function call. So we are using the same x variable in both the functions, in SQR function and main function. We are using the same x variable which is declared outside all the functions. The global variable will compile this program. Run the program. You control F9 to run. Okay, so you can see value of x before function call is 9 and value of uh, after function call is 28. The 4 plus 5, 4 plus 5 is 9. Uh, is the before function call, after function call, we are multiplying the value and giving to the x. So, but we are printing x directly in main function, the direct from the global variable. So square function can also change the value and main function can also change the value of x variable so we will see the output again or f9 control f9 you can see okay uh, it's better if i give a slash n here you can see value of x before function call is 9 after function call is 20 so in the function we are just multiplying two values So this is global variable. So we will see next would be the local variable. So here we have a function sum and we have three variables sum x and y inside the sum function. So you cannot access these three variables from the main function. And here in main function we have a and b. These are local to main function. So we can use a and b in the main function anywhere, but these a and b belong to main function. And if you try to use yes here, I'm trying to use yes here. You can see if I compile this program, it says an error. It says you can see the error here in the last undefined symbol yes in the function main. So it says I don't know about I don't know about s variable. So if if you Try to use a variable from any other function. So yes, you cannot use. You have to return the value. See, you can see this has to return be to be returned. The value should be returned. So what we will do? We will do return yes, and that we can print here. I'll directly use. I'll not use one more variable. I'll just use some function. I'll call the function directly here, so it will print the it there wherever I call. Uh, it, the value goes here and that will be printed here so you can i can say sum of a comma b so i don't need calling the function two times i'll do alt f9 i'll do control f9 run the program this is sum of two values is 37 so this way you can call the function which is uh, call the function or use a variable which is inside the main function you cannot use yes if you use yes and try to compile the program it will give you an error see it will give you an error says statement missing ok we have a bracket here alt f9 we get one error it says undefined symbol yes so we should be careful we should not assume that we can access any variable from any functions only global variables can be accessed by all the functions but local variables we cannot access it from all the functions they are local to the functions so once uh, you call this function 
here we are calling this function here sum of a comma b will have some s1 is equal to we'll declare one more variable s1 we can print s1 here it works well so when we call this function so this function sends the value of a and b that is 16 and 21 to here so x and y gets 16 and 21 and it calculates the value of yes it declares a very local variable yes and declares uh, calculates yes and returns the value yes for example you are sending 16 and 31 so it will be 37 37 will be returned so once this line is completed of execution comes back the control comes back to this uh, statement but when we call this function and it completes all the values in yes x and y are lost after the function calls it will not be uh, retaining the values so how we can retain this value we can retain this value using static we will see that in uh, next program I'll just remove these warnings. We'll so in static, you can see uh, I have a variable called var. I've assigned 10 to that uh, to this uh, var variable. So we are declaring it as static int. You can also have static float, static char. So you can declare it once. So we are calling this function three times. So what happens once this function is called? Okay, I'll I'll print two values. So that it will be easy for you to understand what are normal uh, local variables and what are static variables. I'll print var2 So we have two variables, one is static and other one is non-static. So var2 I'll assign a value is equal to 20. So I'm printing the value. So every time I call the function, so only uh, this variable is assigned only once, but this assign, a variable be assigned whenever the function is called. So it goes to 20, I'll say var2 plus plus we'll say var1 var1 is a static variable and var2 is a non-static variable so we'll have a difference between a non-static and static variable I'll save this program and I'll compile to alt f9 there are a few errors here statement missing okay the alt f9 okay control f9 okay. what exactly we are printing 201120 okay we'll have a slash again here So we'll have a, a more gap between each function call. So we'll save this program. I'll do Alt F9 and Control F9. Okay. This is a different program. So we are we getting this? Okay, we'll see Alt F9 and do Control F9. We can see here. The static variable 1, once we call this function, the static variable v, v ar1, var1 which will be initialized to 10 and then var2 will be initialized to 20 and they are printed here, var1, var2 and we increment the value here, var1 and increment the variable var2. Uh, after after this function call, the var2 value will be disappeared, it will not be there and var1 value will be retained. So when we call the function 1 again, so this time var1 is not initialized, uh, var2 is initialized to 20 again 
and it prints var1 and var2 so var1 is 11 and var2 remains 20 because after we have incremented last time in the function call but that value is lost so previous call whatever we incremented the value of var2 that will be lost so, but the value of var1 is retained. You can see it's incremented to 11 and now it's printing. It's not assigning the value 10 again in this function call. So, in the third function call, still the var of var1 of is not uh, uh, reinitialized or uh, reassigned value 10. But it is, uh, last time we had incremented in the function call. So, that can be printed here as a 12. But var2 will have lost the value in the previous function call. When the previous function call ended, the var2 uh, value ended and now it's reassigning 20 again and printing it so the value between the function call the values inside the function are lost between the function calls so if you want to retain the value so by this you can also see that we have called function three times for example if we declare this as a one we'll say this program alt f9 and do control F9 to run the program. You can see it it says one, two, and three. The variable one. So this by this we can decide that we have called the function three times. So we can use a uh, static function just to uh, make a note that how many times we have called that function. So this is very uh, useful uh, in uh, object-oriented programming because we create something called object. So it'll we can count the number of objects using static variables. I uh, will not worry about uh, object-oriented programming here. Uh, we'll see simple static variables. This is a simple static variable. So each function call, even if you call function 10 times, the value will be retained by the program. So it is, it is not lost. But it's, if it's a non-static uh, variable like var2, you call function n number of times. If you have incremented in the last function call, in the next increment call, the uh, next call, the incrementation would not be uh, visible for you because it is reassigning the value. Uh, in this uh, 20 is assigned, reass reassigned 20 uh, var2 every time the function is called. So this way we can use static variables to retain the value of any local variables between the function call. So we'll see one last program, which is const variable. So we are we are declared a variable var of type int and also cost const. So once we say const, and if we try to increment it here, you can see if I do alt f9, see it gives me an error. It says cannot modify a const object in the function main. So whenever you declare any variable as const, you cannot. In change the value. I'll compile now. You can see it compiles fine. So whenever you have a const, you get this error. Cannot modify a const object in the function. So so you any constants throughout the function. If you don't want to change any values, you can go ahead and use const keyword. Friends, in this video we have learnt about uh, different types of variables. In the upcoming videos, we'll see some more programs. Thank you for watching this video.